Back to the final debate before the election now. Our guests right now, Keith Boykin back with us, former Clinton White House aide, currently editor of The Daily Voice. Kevin Madden joins us. He's a former advisor to the Mitt Romney for president campaign, now a senior vice president with the Glover Park Group. Larry Kudlow, host of Kudlow & Company, is with us, as is our John Harwood, our chief Washington correspondent, who is on site tonight. And John, a much more aggressive John McCain during this debate this evening. He was more aggressive. Uh, a lot of Republicans I talked to during the debate uh, by email while we were all watching it together were cheered that he was on offense, that he was going after uh, Barack Obama, not just on the Bill Ayers personal stuff, but also on taxes, on spending. Joe the plumber was made famous tonight. Uh, I think the question you have to uh, raise about John McCain's performance is, a, was it visually effective? You looked at John McCain, sometimes he looked agitated, he looked frustrated by some of Barack Obama's answer. He, he uh, rolled his eyes a few times, he used uh, his, uh, made quote marks with his fingers once or twice. Uh, and so that, that's the question that I would raise about it. Barack Obama, I don't think this was his best per debate performance. He was trying to keep it low key. Sometimes he uh, faltered a little bit in mm -hmm. his answers, but uh, I think on his overall strategic objective of trying to make sure nothing happened to change the dynamic of the race, Barack Obama's got to be happy with that tonight. Larry, would you agree? Everybody thought the onus was on John McCain to uh, try to make a difference here, especially in light of the economic crisis, which is going to make it much tougher for him. Well, I think McCain did have a lot more energy tonight. I agree with that point of view. I think he did do a better job contrasting his vision of lower taxing and lower spending with Obama's vision of raising taxes on successful investors and successful earners. You know, I don't know. I thought Obama would come out and say, heck, because times are so bad, I'm going to scrap my tax hike on successful investors. But he didn't. But here's an odd thing about McCain. This week, Michelle, he unleashed a a very good cut in the capital gains tax and also uh, capital losses to be written off were increased. He's trying to reach out to the investor class and McCain is trying to deal with the stock market crunch. But you know what? He never mentioned it tonight. After much ballyhoo during the week, he never mentioned it. I found that to be very strange. And yet, Keith, how often did we hear Barack Obama say, Biggest financial crisis since huh. the Great Depression. Barack Obama wanted to con con convince America that we are facing an economic crisis, which everybody knows, and that that's the issue that we have to focus on. I think he tried to do that effectively today. He didn't want to make any news. He didn't want to create any waves. He just wanted to basically coast and do as well as he could. And Barack Obama did a great job tonight. And basically, he just stuck to his issues. And I think the problem is right now is that John McCain needed a game changer tonight. This is his third opportunity. He did not get a game changer. He was trying he was very aggressive. He was trying to needle at Barack Obama to try to make Barack Obama flinch. And Barack Obama never flinched. And that's the problem I think that McCain has got to deal with now. He needs something else to jumpstart his campaign. He's down in the polls. And this was not it tonight. You know, Kevin, it occurred to us uh, as we listened to the debate, uh, uh, Barack Obama has often equated John McCain policy-wise with George Bush, and John McCain finally got around tonight to saying if you were so against George Bush's uh, policies, you should have run against him four years ago. It's too late for that. Pretty good line, you have to admit. <laughs> yeah, it was a good line. Look, and, and it, was, you know, it was an attempt by John McCain to also separate himself from the Bush presidency. I mean, John McCain right now, if he's going to win this election, if he's going to make any movement in these polls, especially in these battleground states that mean so much to the electoral math, John McCain has to get those swing voters. He has to get those Democrats. And the way to do that is to, again, set himself up as a separate identity, somebody who's challenged Republicans, someone who's challenged Democrats, somebody who set the country on a course of uh, idealistic pragmatism on a lot of the big issues that they care about. That's how he's going to get a lot of these very soft uh, Barack Obama voters that are not quite sure and they have lingering doubts about Barack Obama, that's how he gets them back into his And did he do it camp. tonight, Kevin? Did he manage well, to look, make I, this know, a game changer, as Keith points out? You know, I think that these, um, these uh, Keith's right, that these, m these debates are often defined by moments that really crystallize the differences between uh, the candidates. And, and I'll tell you, John McCain tried tonight, but that one moment that's going to be replayed over and over and over that's really going to motivate people to switch from Barack Obama to John McCain, I didn't really see it tonight. You know, I, can I just, uh, I just want to raise a point. 
Uh, McCain had a slip of the tongue. He called Senator Obama Senator <laughs> Government. Right. I thought that was pretty cool. Maybe that wasn't a slip of the tongue. Come on, Larry. You he, think that was a slip? <laughs> I thought that was purposeful. Uh, gee whiz, uh, I, maybe it wasn't a slip of the tongue. And he also worked as Herbert he had Hoover. He a few others, too, Larry. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. But I want to say this um, in, in very specific terms. It is crucial for Senator McCain to pick up votes in the investor class. They're running about even. That is not good for any Republican. George Bush carried investors by 11 points over John Kerry. McCain must reach out to a very specific group, the investor class. I think he did it partly, but I don't think he made the sale. And oddly and he opened, enough, Larry, he did not his talk opening about, statement was about greed. Yes, he kept that's talking right. about greed. That is correct. He has this thing about greed. But you know what? He has a pretty good capital gains tax cut in there. That's brand new. And the capital loss write off. And yet he didn't use it. Look, and I think that's too bad because guys, I think he had some good momentum tonight. Yeah, John. Guys, let me just tell you, though, he doesn't just need the investor class. Larry's right. He does need those people. But he also needs a lot of those downscale uh, swing voters. He's got problems all over the spectrum. And that's the issue for John McCain. He's down significantly in the polls. This is not just a small margin. It's a big margin in presidential politics. And uh, the fact that he is, uh, 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 on the one hand, talking about uh, cutting taxes, on the other hand, uh, uh, talking about greed, reflects both of those challenges. Let me bring up this this uh, man who's now become very famous as Joe the Plumber, <laughs> yeah, Joe Wurzelbacher. He did very well tonight. In Toledo, Ohio. Who, he had a good uh, night, Bill. Approached, <laughs> he approached Senator Obama on Sunday at a, at a campaign stop and said, your new tax plan is going to tax me more. And Obama was heard to say in this clip that's making the rounds on YouTube, it's not that I want to punish your success. I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success too. And I think that when we spread the wealth around, mm. it's good for everybody. Does that help or hurt Barack Obama, Keith? Well, I think obviously uh, McCain wanted to make Joe the plumber the famous person that he now is because we're talking about him. And I, I think that McCain was successful in getting his name out there and obviously the reporters will go and talk to Joe tomorrow and find out what he thinks. They're already but, with him tonight. Yeah, watching already him with him tonight. Yeah. Well, but the problem is for, for McCain though is that McCain's message comes too late. I think this is too little too late. The, the message that Barack Obama has tried to consolidate in the American people's minds is that he's the one who's on their side. I don't think that John McCain really convinced the American people tonight that he is actually more on their side well, than Obama is. Yeah, but I, I think, think Obama was very good, Larry, in convincing the American public that his tax plan is not only his tax plan, but his health care plan will actually help the middle class you much know, more I, than McCain's plan. I don't plan. think America's really ever bought into Obama's, uh, you know, redistribute the wealth or spread the wealth around. I don't believe that for a minute. But he's never I, used that language, I, right? I, I think I think that uh, it's very interesting with this Joe the plumber spreading the wealth around and taxing success. I'm, I'm sorry McCain didn't pick up on the notion. What Senator Obama wants to do during a terrible period of the economy and the stock market is essentially tax success, whether you're a small business person or an investor or whether you're a corporate worker. The trouble is, if John McCain can rev that up and stay with that, I think McCain scored very heavily tonight on that point. Let's see if he can continue it. Kevin, are you convinced hey, John, that either candidate has fully addressed the economic crisis that we're in right now? I mean, it, uh, obviously, the solutions are very difficult. They're hard fought. They're, they're still being made up as we go along. But have they adequately, in your mind, been able to address what we're going through right now, policy wise? Well, look, I, you know, I, let, me, let me take a look at, uh, at this from a, a campaign perspective, a pure political uh, uh, perspective. Uh, oftentimes, voters don't judge candidates based on the specifics of their proposals. They don't go line by line on the website and look and compare the comp proposals. But instead, what they do, and, and quite frankly, their vote is reflected in the candidates' contest of messages. And I think what was very, uh, what was important for, uh, to remember at the beginning of this debate was that John McCain seemed to stumble with his, uh, in, with, with his um, uh, belief that the, the fundamentals of the economy are strong. Now, we can argue all night about whether that was an accurate statement, but it didn't fit with where the anxiety that a lot of voters were feeling. And Barack Obama kept a very steady message, and he kept a, a message that was concentrated on the anxieties of the middle class. And I think that is where he's had an advantage in the last couple of weeks. And what we're seeing right now with these plans that are being rolled out you know they may affect the the, the 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 contours of the debate they may affect the atmospherics but the fundamentals right now are favoring the democrat and that is republicans biggest challenge
John, what do McCain and Obama do as they head toward the election? What's the next step for them if they're going to make any moves? Well, I think it's right now about raising around the country. It's about advertising. And let's remember that Barack Obama's got a two to one, three to one edge in some of those battleground states. And it's about trying to mobilize their vote. And Barack Obama's got to uh, try to make sure that uh, Democrats don't get complacent because they've got to lead. Try to hold, hold on to his vote, prevent uh, McCain from shaking it loose. And John McCain's got to find a way to do uh, two things at the same time, get his base fired up and also find a message uh, on the economy and other issues raising doubts about Obama that connects with those swing voters. Last word to you, Keith. Yeah, can I just say something? I just think that what, about what McCain did tonight that was really smart and what he should have done a long time before was to run against President Bush. Unfortunately, he did it in the very last debate with just three weeks left in the campaign. At this point, it's probably too late to make a difference, but what he needed to do all along was to distinguish himself against George Bush, not against Barack Obama, because the public does not like George Bush. All right. We're going to keep Larry and John around. Keith, Kevin, thank you both for your time tonight. Thanks for being with us this evening. Great to be with you. Thank you. you